Git and GitHub explained in just four minutes. Git is the most popular version control system in the world. But what is version control and why do we need it? A version control system keeps track of changes made to our code over time, storing them in special databases called a repository. This allows us to view our project's history and see who made what changes as well as when and why. We can also revert our code to a previous version if something goes wrong. In simple terms, version control helps us to track changes and collaborate efficiently. There are two main types of version control. The first is centralized version control. In a centralized system, all developers connect to a central server to access the latest code and share their changes. An example of this is Microsoft Team Foundation Server. However, the problem is that if the central server goes offline, no one can collaborate or save changes until it's back online. This single point of failure makes centralized systems less reliable. However, a distributed version control system solves this problem. Every developer has a complete copy of the project, including the entire history stored locally. This means that developers can save snapshots of their work on their own machines. And if the central server is down, they can still work and even sync directly with the teammates. Git is the most widely used distributed version control system, making collaboration and code management seamless. Okay, so let's take a real life example to better understand Git in action. Imagine me and my friend Tim are working together on a web application for a library of books. To manage the project, I create a repository, which is a place to store our code and track changes over time. In this case, the repository is hosted on GitHub, a cloud-based platform for Git repositories. When the repository is created, GitHub sets up a main branch. This is the default branch where the latest stable and production-ready code is maintained. Now, let's say I want to work on the home page of our web application. To do this, I first need to clone the repository onto my local machine, creating a local copy of the project. And then I need to create a new branch for my changes. Let's call it Rayhan's branch. This approach follows the trunk-based development model, where developers create branches off the main branch to work on specific features. At the same time, Tim also wants to contribute to the project, so he also clones the repository onto his local machine and creates his own branch, which he calls Tim's branch, to work on his changes separately. Now both of us have a working copy of the project on our machines and can make changes independently. On my local copy, I make some updates to the homepage and decide to create a pink title. Once I'm happy with my changes, I commit the changes to Rayhan's branch and push my branch to the GitHub repository and finally merge my branch into the main branch so my changes become part of the main project. Meanwhile, Tim is also making his own updates to the homepage. He adds a blue title and an image. After making these changes, Tim commits them to Tim's branch and prepares to push his updates to the main branch. However, before Tim can merge his branch, he needs to sync his branch with the latest version of the main branch, since my changes have already been merged. To do this, Tim pulls the latest changes from the main branch into his branch and attempts to merge the updates into Tim's branch. But now he has hit a merge conflict. My pink title conflicts with Tim's blue title since both changes were made to the same parts of the code. So Tim needs to resolve this merge conflict. To fix this, Tim decides to compromise and adopt my pink title instead of his blue one. So he manually updates his branch, keeping the pink title and then commits the resolved changes. Once Tim is happy with the final version, he creates a pull request or a PR which is a way to propose and review changes before merging them into the main branch. Finally, I review Tim's PR and decide to approve it and merge it into the main branch. Now our homepage is updated in the main repository. And from this example, we can see how Git enables seamless collaboration in a real world project. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.